Hi, I'm Laura. I am the Outreach Manager with the Merck Co-op, and we are going to learn how to make salt dough ornaments today. So this is something you can make this time of the year when people give each other a lot of gifts. You only need three ingredients, and you can make beautiful ornaments to give to your friends and your family. So we're going to start with four cups of flour and one cup of salt, and then you need one and a half cups of water, and that is it. So I've got my flour and my salt here, and you're gonna add your water in a stream, and then mix it in with a spoon. And then you're gonna to wanna to finish pulling it together with your hands. It's kind of a good way to start. These are something I used to make with my mom at home, so it's kind of fun to get to make them again. So it's going to be just a little sticky. If you find you need a little more flour, you're going to make it into kind of a, a ball of dough. And you might be tempted to think that this looks like it's something good to eat, but trust me, it is not tasty. So do not try and eat it. Okay. So, once you've got this all mixed together, we're going to put it on a piece of parchment paper. You can see this is nice and soft. Put it right in the middle of your parchment paper. We're going to take another sheet of parchment paper and lay it right on top. Okay, so we have our dough in between our parchment paper here, and we're just going to roll it out nice and gentle so it's about an eighth of an inch thick, which is pretty thin. And it helps if you kind of start in the middle and you work towards you and then away from you. And you start in the middle and you go away and towards. You might need a little help if someone's there to hold down your parchment paper. It'll make it easier. And the reason you want it nice and thin is that they'll bake a little more easily and they won't crack. Sometimes if they're thick, there will be air bubbles in there and then they will crack once you have them all done. Okay, so we have our dough rolled out nice and thin and now we get to cut shapes into our dough to make ornaments. So you could use a cookie cutter. I have one here that's just like a little snowflake. If you don't have any cookie cutters, that's okay. You can always just use a cup or you could cut um, a design in it with like a butter knife. Any of that would work just fine. And then you can add patterns on top of your dough since it's nice and smooth. So if you used a fork, you could add little holes on your ornament or you could find something fun, like I have these little herbs that I could use. We can just put little star shapes on the top, and that could be kind of fun. Or I have this little honeycomb. You can look all around your house to find fun little tools and make little imprints so it makes your ornaments a little bit special and a little different. So you're going to put this right on a baking sheet and bake it in your oven at 300 degrees for one hour. They're going to get just a little bit brown. I'll show you what they look like because I have some that I finished a little earlier. And you could paint them white. You could add other colors to them. You could use glitter. And you can see they just come out real nice. And one thing that I should have mentioned before you bake them, make sure to add a little hole on one side so you can string a ribbon through and that way you can hang up your ornament. So that's all there is to it. If you make some salt dough ornaments at home, please send us some pictures and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.